Охренеть. Охренеть. Епица сердце перестало. Я в шоке. On the night of September 21st, there was a drone attack on the Krasnodar region of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. Ukraine's drones attacked an ammunition depot belonging to the Russian army in Kameny settlement of Tykorek district. As a result, an explosion and fire occurred in the warehouse. The warehouse is said to contain North Korean-made ammunition. The regional head confirmed the drone attack. According to him, two drones were intercepted by air defense and electronic warfare forces, but the debris from one of them caused a fire, which spread to explosive materials, resulting in detonation. The governor also stated that a temporary evacuation of residents to nearby populated areas is underway. A temporary accommodation center will be established in Tykoretsk. Preliminary information indicates that there are no casualties among residents. Долго еще будет гореть. Russian firefighters, military servicemen and volunteers were battling strong wildfires in the Russian-controlled part of Ukraine's Luhansk region on Thursday, according to local state TV reports. The blazes were raging for several days due to dry and windy weather. According to the Russian Emergency Ministry, the most complicated situation Authoridius were dealing with was in the Stanikno Luhansky district where over 2,000 hectares were on fire and 161 residential buildings were damaged. As a result of the wildfires, four people died and six were injured.
С лопатами стоим, смотрим, чтобы трава нигде не загорелась. Прибиваем мелкие очаги возгорания. То есть стараемся как-нибудь локализировать пожар. МЧС у нас активно с взаимодействует с нами. В первую очередь для прикрытия населенных пунктов здесь была угроза. Все мероприятия, которые ну, происходят, это в принципе у нас все подготовлено было заранее в планах тушения лесных пожаров.